How does a writer create a conclusion that supports his argument? In this lesson, you will learn how to conclude your essay by restating specific support for your argument. If we take a look at our prompt again, we know we need to draft a conclusion that supports our claim and leaves the audience with a clear understanding of our viewpoint. Let's see where we're at in the writing process. We've done our close reading. We've looked at our prompt to know we're doing an argumentative essay. We've generated and planned our introduction, claim, and counterclaim. We've drafted and revised our introduction, claim, and counterclaim, and now we're ready to draft our conclusion. And of course the process will end when we edit and publish. Let's review. What makes a strong conclusion in an argumentative essay? Well, first you need to restate the claim. You need to emphasize it, but you need to use different words than what you used in the introduction. Also, you need to support with key points. This will take one to two sentences in your conclusion. And you need to provide a statement with a general warning of consequences or the benefit to the community involved. Let's take a look at some tips that will help us with this. Avoid introducing new information or a new claim. This will only confuse your readers. Make sure your final claim is obvious, that it stands out. Sometimes it can get buried. And use different language to avoid repetition. A thesaurus is a great tool for this. Let's look at the steps we'll be using in this process as we do our lesson today. First, we will reread our claim in the introduction and ask ourselves, how can I restate it? Next, we will summarize key points that most support our claim. And finally, we will ask, what additional information will strengthen my final argument? And then we're going to write our conclusion. Let's reread the claim from our introduction. However, I believe the evidence proves Eric Blake is guilty of planting the diamonds. What's another way to say this? I want to use different words than the ones I use in the introduction, so let's start with this. I believe enough proof exists to convict Blake. As we write our, our conclusion, we will revisit our cl claim that we just made and try to make it as strong as we can. Okay, let's make a note of this restated claim so that we can keep it in mind as we're planning what we're going to put in the rest of our conclusion. Now, what was my strongest evidence? Let's see. We had the way Blake found the stone. We also had the number of stones he found. We know that he refused to have the stone inspected. And we also have the certificate. We know that certificate is really important because it, it's material evidence. Now I need to look for additional information that I might include. Let's see. We have the reputation of the state park and Arkansas. We know that other miners were suspicious of Blake's good luck. We also know that park officials question his fine, so they're planning an investigation. And I need to include the point that the diamonds are worth more if they're American, since this explains why Blake, Blake would plant the diamonds. I also need that general statement of warning or benefit for the community. In this case, the community would be the people at Crater of Diamond State Park. I'm ready to use these ideas to write a rough draft. I think I'll start with the value of diamonds, so let's try this. Next, I think I'll talk about the others who think he's guilty. I want to point out that the miners and the park officials all question Blake's find. To emphasize my claim, I think I'm going to say what will happen if there's an, an investigation. This will also lead in as I make my claim. Now I'm going to add my restated claim and I'm going to also add my general warning to the, 
what would happen. Let's see what we've got now that we've finished with our planning and our drafting of our conclusion. Selling foreign, di foreign diamonds as American stones in order to increase their value is a crime. Although Blake claims he is innocent, other miners already consider him guilty. Park officials also question Blake's find and should pursue an investigation. If it truly is a simple mistake, Blake should welcome a thorough investigation that will clear him to sell the diamonds at a higher price. I expect further examination of the facts to result in additional, more direct evidence, making it easier to prove Blake's guilt in a court of law. I believe enough proof already exists to convict Blake. Establishing the provenance of Blake's diamonds is, a, is essential in maintaining the integrity of Crater of Diamonds State Park and the state of Arkansas. Now I have my draft. Okay, let's review where we are in, in the writing process and where we're going to head. We've done our close reading. We've looked at our prompt. We've done our generating and planning. We've done our drafting and revising of everything except our conclusion. And in our next lesson, that's exactly what we'll do. We'll revise our conclusion. And of course, we will finish by editing and publishing. Let's look at the steps we used in this lesson to draft our conclusion. First, we reread our claim in the introduction and we ask ourselves, how can I restate it? Next, we summarized key points that most supported our claim. And finally, we asked what additional information will strengthen my final argument. And then, we wrote our conclusion in draft form. In this lesson, you have learned how to conclude your essay by restating specific support for your argument.